Can you hear me, dear aunt? Am I near your invisible castle? Am I, dear aunt? Dear sweet Aunt Morgan? Dear sweet Queen Aunt Morgan? Can you not hear me? Go away, Mordred. Go away. You were a nasty little boy, and I'm told you become a nasty little man. I beseech you, Your Majesty, give me a moment of your time. Not now, Mordred. I am eating my dinner, and shan't be finished till tomorrow. What a pity! I have chocolates! Chocolates? You say you have chocolates? Hard candies and caramels. Hard candies and caramels. Cherry creams with soft center. Oh, cherry creams with soft centers? Don't move, my darling nephew. Your darling aunt is on her way. Caught? <laughs> and baskets and sugary profusion. But first, let us discuss what you shall do for me. I shall do nothing for you. Nothing at all. Why should I do anything for anyone? I have always wanted life. Passionate afternoons, gluttonous nights, and slovenly mornings. Very well, then. Give me my candy, or shall I go home and continue eating my dining room? Eating your dining room? And why not? My chairs are made of vegetable, my table's made of cheese, and my doors are gingerbread. And the floor? Roast beef, wall to wall. But candy, I never get. So I desire it most of all. Then why should you be denied it, when all I ask is to play a prank on King Arthur? King Arthur? Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, I used to watch him from my invisible window out walking with Merlin. He was a dear little boy. No, I don't wish to harm him. No harm, never. You're the son of a wicked mother, Mordred, and I know you're up to mischief. No mischief at all. Just a delicious little game that will amuse you. Arthur is out hunting. Lure him to your forest and detain him for the night. Detain him for the night? Oh, no. Uh, such games are for the afternoon. At night, I eat. And I'm more ravenous every second. Please, dear aunt, make him drowsy and build a wall around him. The invisible kind you do so well? How do you know I build invisible walls? Mummy told me. <laughs> Please, dear aunt. No, I will not harm little Wart. Caught? Farewell, master. Enough candy I'll bring to furnish a new wing. Masses and masses of gummy molasses. No, that's all. 
used to walk this valley at some point. There were no trees. Much more like a meadow. Nature, old boy, I think it's pop. And where's that bird? It's awfully quiet. It's not a leaf rustling. Not a sound from the forest. Just one round of time. Would you care to join? No, thank you. I don't want to find that bird. If you hit a bird with an arrow, it ought to fall down like a gentleman. Well, you remember how often we used to walk this valley when I was a boy? You know what I miss most of those times? Not my youth, but my innocence. My innocence. <laughs> That, my lord, <laughs> is an iffy question. 
Now look here, you whatever your name is. I don't know what slushes around that swampy little mind of yours, but while the king is away, I'm in charge of this castle. And I'm not a believer in all this civil law nonsense. Make one false move and, and you'll face the jury in two sections, what? Carry the head in myself. Gladly. Wouldn't I love that medieval delinquent? Eleanor, in a little while, I shall be in charge of this palace. And shortly after that, gentlemen, the kingdom! <laughs> Your, your invincible English calm. 
Oh, the insensitivity of sensitive men, always suffering so much for themselves they can suffer nothing for others. You think you're the only one in torment? I'm just as tortured, just as anguished as you! What would you have us do to this man we both love? Run away? Leave him? Publicly humiliate him? Force him to declare war on you, where either of you, if not both, would be killed, along with hundreds of others? What kind of heartbreaking solution is that? Forgive me, Jeff. I shall not mention it again. Or shall I come for you again? I swear that to If I escape, I shall rescue you. If I am killed, send what a joyous God. Someone will come. No, wait! Let him go. <laughs> Your Majesty.